Hey guys, so I gotta make this video pretty quick, but so today we got the Eureka Whirlwind and my pickup test. I've kind of like redone my pickup test, so I'm gonna explain to you what we have. Uh, I have wood all over here and I left the crack down the middle so we can see like if it picks up anything from the middle. Um, so uh, we have flour, then we have rice, then we have sand. And over here, I kind of embedded the sand and actually right here, I'm gonna embed the sand on this side. And then I'm going to not embed the sand on that side. Then we have aquarium rocks and oats. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, this does pull a 90 in water lift, so it does have quite a bit of suction. I am not sure about the airflow though. And um, I am in the middle of a whole house cleaning uh, just to see how it is, but um, I haven't finished that. So I just put that dirt to the side. But yeah, so let's go ahead and test this out. Carpet mode on carpets, hardcore mode on hard floors. Ready for it? Yeah, okay. Here we go. So, oats, I, it snow plowed quite a bit, but, um, you know, it is a canister vacuum, so you can lift up the floor head. What I'm really going to look for is the flour, and yeah, there is flour left, and there is still quite a bit of sand. So let me just go over this until I can get pretty much everything up. So it did leave quite a bit of um, sand, so I just lowered the brush for like a hard floor cleaning and it appears to have gotten it all, but let me just inspect. No, actually there, okay, so there is still sand left, but it is a straight suction machine. Can't expect too much. So there is some sand left, but I'm not gonna, it's not a huge deal. Overall, it did pretty well. Okay, we're gonna switch this to hard floor mode which really I don't honestly recommend. I think carpet mode is honestly good, but we're gonna use hard floor mode on hard floors. I also wanna mention that there's a really thick layer of dust on these uh, wood floors because they haven't been used in about a year. So we'll see how well it does with that.
Okay, so from this pickup test, here's what I can conclude. Uh, first, let me see how it did with the stuck on dust. Uh, I mean, it, it's definitely a lot better, but it's not completely gone. So here's what I can, I can conclude. This vacuum is best on hard floors. Obviously, it is straight suction. It's not going to be great on carpets. This is best for hard floors. But overall, it did well, and this does a lot better than most upright vacuums, mainly because it is a canister. I did not even know you could do that. Um, but because you can lift up the back of the cleaner head, and since this does actually have pretty good power, you can pick a lot up. And I, let me demonstrate that with something very heavy, like aquarium rocks. I know a lot of vacuums that cannot pick this up because it's heavy. But canister vacuums usually can pick up heavier items. So let me just demonstrate. vacuum also performed quite well in the crack and then in, in, in the cracks and it did pretty well by the way this has like a, kind of a really bad cyclone so it, with just two uses that's what it looks like um let's go ahead and dump this out and see here's what i don't like about this because it's so deep in there you have to like flip it all the way back and it's Stays pretty dusty in there, so the bin design on this is not great. But let's try to suck all of this up. I mean. That's better than just about every upright, you know. That actually did really well because it's a canister. So yeah, that's the pickup test for this vacuum. Look out for some more videos with this vacuum. And I want to see how this does on my thick carpet upstairs. So we'll find out about that. So yeah, thanks for watching.